Well, hello, and welcome back to a brand new video from Kurno EXP. So we're doing a walking video today, folks. And that tree up there doesn't seem very good, do Ooh. Sounds like he's gonna go. Can you hear that? Don't like that. Right, so we're down at Kennel Vale, the old gunpowder works, and uh, it's racking me brains today to find out what we can do, but because everything else is so boggy and muddy, we've decided to return here. Um, so we've got uh, quite a few things to look at. And uh, the river is pretty full today. Mind you, we've had a lot of rain of late, haven't we? Right, so we've been here a bit out of breath, folks. Been out. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, so we'll get up here a minute, and then we'll we'll talk to you guys. Right, so Kennel Vale was a gunpowder works and uh, this location goes back to over 200 years for production of gunpowder. There's been uh, a few accidents here over the years. Uh, some women were killed and a chap, I believe, a long time ago. This place is reputedly haunted. Uh, we kind of know because we've been here and done paranormal investigations here at this location. And uh, I've been, I've joined Mark from Paranormal Immortal, formerly known as Ghost Adventures of Cornwall, on more than one occasion with Haley. And it's a very strange place, folks. Now, the operatives that worked on the gunpowder side of it, they would have been fairly young. So they would have been very, very... Oh, look at this down here. I never noticed that before. Their spirits would be lingering in quite a big way. Never noticed that before, look. I don't know how many times I've been here, but quite a few, so. Right, so, yeah, sorry for a bit, the uh, slight cut there, but yeah, welcome back, folks. I hope you're all good. I might be looking a bit tired today because I didn't sleep very well the other night, but anyway, we're here at Kennel Vale. We're gonna do a walk around the uh, mills and what we can see, basically. But we're also here for another reason, which I can't really divulge right now because uh, we've not filmed it yet. So <laughs> anyway, should we go, folks? <coughs> so we've got um, this possible workshop there. And this one here is quite interesting because it's got a tram line in it, folks. Uh, I find that quite interesting, really. You can see it there, look. See the ghost of the narrow gauge? So this would have been for maintenance of possible little steam engines and what have you. Because it probably would have been steam, not electric. Some new fencing up there gone up. That's a bit... They've certainly been doing a bit of work here, haven't they, look? Cutting down some deadfall and what have you. Never noticed that before up there. So, it's quite interesting. So this is the quarry here, and obviously they would have quarried the stone out for building houses and what have you. Right, so it says, caution, deep water. 
kind of guess that really. Um, so I'm not really sure when this quarry was uh, constructed because I don't actively see any like drill holes from like the compressed air rock drill. So whether it's all hand drilled, I don't know, but it's interesting all the same. Okay, so we're going to look at some of the old buildings on location here now. Well, I'd just like to thank all the new subscribers. Thanks for joining Kernet EXP. Uh, just to quickly dance over what we do. We're Cornish explorers. We explore Cornwall from land, sea and air. Land, i.e. walking, driving, motorbikes and cars with the crew. We are military enthusiasts, whether it's Cold War, World War II or World War I or Palmerston forts and things, which we've got a new series of that coming. And we do drone flights and we fly in all parts of Cornwall, where we're allowed to fly, of course, adhering by the drone code. Um, it does take me a long time to produce uh, the drone videos because we've got to move like from one part to the next to the next to the next so some of the videos can be long some of the videos can be short drone wise that is we do paranormal investigations all over the place and we will be coming back here to do one at some stage this just seems to be a bit clearer here now yeah, they've, they've cut trees down, haven't they? Oh, there's another building there. I never noticed that before. I think we'll have to look at that. <coughs> oh, excuse me. All right, we need to go and look at that right now, I think. I've never noticed that. And another one there, look. All right. That's very interesting. We've been here a few times. But we've never noticed this before. There's some kind of building here. Looks like a possible outhouse. Look at this, folks. Can't believe we've never noticed this before. And then we've got this other construction up here. So there you go, folks. Our motto is the more you look, the more you find. History is everywhere. So true. Well, you can see where the floorboards were, can't you? There, there. So this would have been quite an interesting building. You've got uh, cement wash on the side there. 1930s kind of style, I'm guessing. Was this a store? You can see Cement wash, possible lime mortar there. That is quite interesting. I can't believe we never noticed that one before. All right. So let's scan about to see if we can see any other. There's massive boulders down there, folks. Can you see them? Look up here, look. Look at that one. Look at that one up there. Absolutely humongous, isn't it? All right, I don't see any other evidence for any any other there. So obviously this was a gunpowder work, so that building is associated with that part of history. From the untrained high, this looks like a a toilet, but was it a stone foundation and a wooden top don't know all right can we get down without falling down <laughs> hope so all right there we go okay so some time ago we did do a ghost hunt here me and david and we did it inside of this building here now i think 
this building here was possibly a office for the gunpowder works. And that there does look like an old house right there, doesn't it, folks? Let's have a little look at that minute. I don't think I've ever documented this something, did you? Yeah, it does look like a traditional style outhouse. If you don't know what an outhouse is, folks, it's a toilet, basically. And here it probably would have been a wooden seat with a hole in it. And you would have done your whatever you've got to do in that. And then what they probably did then is they took it and dropped it over the side there into the river because that's what a lot of people used to do years ago. All right, so that's potential outhouse because obviously they would never have the toilet inside the house. I suppose it's to do with smells and what have you. Right, so potential office building. Uh, Oh, people leaving the dog shit in bags, that's disgusting. It does look like that to me from the untrained eye. Lovely little sash window that would have been there. Yeah, so I'm just putting this down as an office. I don't, it doesn't mean that it is, but in all intents and purposes, it does look like that. So, we've got this massive gateway here which would have split the line up so I should imagine originally there would have been a trackway coming through here now one thing to note which I did notice last time is you look at the beam there that is actually railway line and a very old piece indeed so that would have been utilized for the gate, you can see it's on stone lintels there, which is a very old way of doing it. And these just standard breeze blocks. But quite a substantial wall really, isn't it? Right, let's, uh, let's carry on folks. This video might be quite long winded, so hope you enjoy it. A walk through Kennel Vale with an archaeological eye, yes. Because we do have a bit of an eye for detail. So it's quite windy today. I do have the drone, but I don't think we're going to fly it. So another construction there possible store of something. Now if we look uh, carefully, oh hang on, we might be able to go even go on it. There's uh, an embankment here which looked, does look to be um, remains of a bridge, which uh, obviously they would have had to have gone from one side to the other. So, yeah, this does look like a bridge, or it could be where they utilise water for powering the, um, the mills, because that's one of the mills there, folks. And uh, it's quite interesting. Okay, so we'll carry on, because we, we haven't got loads of time. So we're going to go across that bridge down there. Ah, you know I said about leets. Here's one here, look. Can you see it? Comes down, down here, and then it would have went across there. So that was for power, folks, for water power. Because obviously, you know, there's a lot of water around here. And, it, and this river pretty much flows. It's called the River Kennel. It flows all the time, so they would have utilised the water for powering the uh, grinding mill 
gunpowder grinding mill and basically water is a lot cheaper than steam folks putting it bluntly and you know in layman's terms it's a lot cheaper to run a water driven mechanism than anything else right we're going to go down here now and cross the bridge and over to what remains of the the mills uh, this one we're going to now has got the parts of the water wheel still in situ which is absolutely amazing you can see on the back there I just point at it see the line there that's a leet and that's uh, how they would have got the power the river is pretty pretty fierce today a lot of a lot of power in water folks so it's part of the mill there as you can see right so we'll uh, commence our walk down and the first one we go to is the one where the water wheel is actually in situ and the mechanism which for this site is quite rare because there's I think there is a, one other part of this which is at, an, at another spot right, I think what I've got to do is take a picture of that because I'm probably not going to come back here for a little while so bear with me a minute folks Right, here we go. So we've got that. Just get the phone away a minute. So it's amazing that that is still in situ, you know, because these things don't always survive. Somebody's dropped their bag of poo there, which is not very good. Right, now let's commence our walk down through now. So you can imagine what happened here. There's the wheel. Uh, what what would have happened is the water that was channeled through the leet would have came through here there would have been a gate there called a sluice gate which would have uh, governed how much water would come across over to the wheel and that's the remains of the actual wheel still in situ and it's in a bit of a poor state but the thing is it's still here and uh, very very rare to see right so we're going to take a, a walk down through now folks nice and gently as there is no rush as such now if you do come down here um, make sure you've got some good good footwear on and if you've got children with you make sure you keep them on a close rein if you know what I mean because there's sheer drops and what have you and uh, you know, I wouldn't want anybody to hurt themselves. So make sure you take note of that. So this is the next uh, gunpowder mill. The grinding stone would have been down in there, folks. And here we got another um, sluice gate, which would have been. And uh, then down below, that's where the, the wheel would have been, folks. So making our way down through nice and calmly so we've got some lovely original steps here there is a handrail there so you can actually hold on uh, look at the stones there folks you see them little grooves there that was actually um, done when they split the rock they would have used a thing called a feather edge little feathers they called and that's how they split the rock they drilled a load of holes like that tap 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 and then all of a sudden it would have split so there's looking inside one of the uh, mills so now we've got to make our way over down on these steps here now which uh, if you're not very good on your feet is a little bit precarious to say the least right so just take your time oh my knee give out then bloody hell God, it's true. My knee's giving out. Flipping heck. All right, so what we've got here is um, a leetway 
I think uh, I think we'll actually walk down there. So we're actually on the leet bed now, folks. So so when this site was working, the water wheel would have been gushing water out of there. You know, so you can see how big it is. It's quite big. So where I am right here would be, I'd be in probably uh, two feet of water here, roughly. So we're going up to the other mill here. This is where the water that was used on the mill would have came down. So when this site was working, you probably wouldn't have been able to get to this bit here because it will be uh, all under water. So we've got, we've got another little footbridge there which they would have used. And uh, yeah, it's quite interesting, isn't it? Yeah. Right, so we're going to go further down the valley now. I do believe somewhere, oh hang on a minute, I don't know, I don't know what that is but that looks like a bit of metal to me, that could be something to do with the, uh, with the mills. So somewhere down here folks there is actually a grinding stone in the river which is from one of these uh, mills, now I'm not sure if we can see it today but we are going to try and have a look at it so we've got to get back off the leet and onto the footpath there we go all right i can't believe my knee give out then bloody hell so you know when you come to a place like this you don't really necessarily think that there's all these little buildings down here it's amazing what man can produce you know So we're going to the next mill now. Ooh. All right, so this is the next mill and that's where the grinding stone would have been. You can still see the bolts and nuts where they, or the bolts where they would have been. The leet here is probably not as, it probably would have had a, a a wooden launder that would have went down into where the wheel was because it wouldn't necessarily be all identical. Right, so we've got another massive wall built there which we can't really get to unfortunately. So as you can see look down there they've got like a a bit where they would have um, had a um, sluice gate there and that's where they would have got the water down into the bottom mills. It's just hard to believe that this was a hive of activity at one time. So we've got another, we've got another sluice gate bit there which would have controlled the amount of uh, water that went down into the mill and this one's it's still got its um, cement render on it and paint which is it's just amazing really you know now whether that's original or no it looks like it's been there a long time but it, it's debatable if that's original but it does look it but I can't say it's 100% original Okay, so we're making our way down these steps now. What am I seeing? Oh, okay. I've got seeing things for a minute. <coughs> so it looks like the uh, Wildlife Trust have been busy down here chainsawing and what have you. There's a massive tree come down there. Okay, look. That's that storm that we had uh, not too long ago. Right. Like I'm saying, if you do come down here, please take your time, folks, because it, uh, it can be a bit precarious in places. So you can see how they would have got the power. They would have had a barrier along there and a sluice gate, and that water... It's possible that that is as it was intended, to be fair, but... 
you can see what they were trying to do, get the water down to here, folks. And of course, it's actually still flowing today, look. And uh, down to the next one. Now, I've seen um, these leaks actually gushing out with water, you know, as they were intended. You can hear the water. So we've got original uh, sluice just there, folks, look. Which was probably for allowing to, uh, if, it, if it overflows, to get some of that water away, like, you know. So this was put in not too long back, well, a few years ago, but doesn't seem that long ago. It obviously is. So we're now down in the bottom part of uh, the mills. You can just see the, uh, the power in the water there, folks. Look at that. Can you see that gushing? Like, you know, the power, the power of the water is just amazing. It really is. So we've got uh, this sluice gate here and obviously it's still got a bit of water coming through there, which is uh, interesting, isn't it? There you go, you can see it now. And you've got uh, down below, down below there, which is quite a way down, folks, you know, quite a way down. So, yeah, we've still got uh, original render in here as you can see. Right, so we're near the bottom now, so video is going to finish in a bit. So we've got another mill down there and we've got this one in front of us now, which is quite interesting. So this one I don't know what condition this one is. Still got a bit of the render on the wall, folks. Look at that. Amazing, eh? And then you've got where the sluice would have been. You can just see it there very clearly. This one doesn't seem to be that deep compared to like, the other one we were just at. Deep enough, though. All right. It's very interesting. So down here, you've got um, possible office building and what have you. So, yeah, real good. So this is the bottom mill down here, as you can see. That's the very bottom one right there, folks. So we are virtually right down the bottom now. So if you didn't know this place was here, you, you, would, never, you, you would never get it. You'd never guess where it is, because it's definitely well hidden. Right, so this is a potential office or crib house where they would have went in and had refreshments and what have you. It does look like a kitchen, doesn't it? It's got a fireplace there. And then you've got the bottom room down here, which to the untrained eye, it does look like an office to me. And then you've got like a, a big, biggish building, which was possibly a store where they would have kept uh, bags of uh, raw material. <coughs> and then you've got the actual bridge. So there's the bridge. So that does look like a, a normal bridge, you know, like out in the countryside. Right, well, I hope you enjoyed that, folks. Uh, there's the office building there. Do hope you enjoyed today's video don't forget to like and comment and subscribe and we will see you very soon we've got a lot of things lined up with me and the crew so yeah anyway see you later cheers and gone well folks i hope you enjoyed today's explores we certainly uh burnt ourselves out now so we're leaving kennel vale gunpowder works and we found some other things, so if you want to be a member to find out what that is, 
then feel free to do so. Oh, feeling a little bit knackered now. So, from me, Kerno EXP, done at Kennel Vale. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe and all that jazz. And if you enjoy what we do, if you want to help the channel, there is a buy me a coffee link. Anyway, we'll see you soon, folks. From me, down at Kennel Vale, I bid you farewell. Cheers and go home.